Alright. Another week, another AI tool. We'll discuss Cutout Pro today, which you can access from Cutout.pro site. Cutout Pro was established back in 2018, and it specializes in AI photo and video manipulations. Basically making everyone's life easier by automating the things that you usually do manually on Photoshop or video editors. You have technical support, emails and numbers here. And their head office is from Kowloon, Hong Kong. Above the page, you can see the tools they offer. They do an AI background removal from images and videos. They enhance or upscale photo, background diffusion. They also have object erasers, which is pretty much a common thing now. Video background removal is also something that you can get from Filmora 12 or CapCut. As well as picture background removal and the face cutout features. Thus like Dolly, they also offer AI art generator. Here is a sample of their background diffuser on a cute baby. And some more samples of the photo enhancers. Basically making blurred photos sharp and as well as video enhancers, which does the same thing but for videos. I will try this video enhancer on a very old video later. And they can also animate a picture, just like what D-ID does. They can also recolor pictures, which I will also try later. Then there's the cartoon selfie, which turns a normal picture into a different types of cartoon effects. And there's other essential tools like creating a passport picture and blurring backgrounds of pictures. Definitely a lot of very useful tools you can use here. Now let's see the pricing of Cutout Pro. They are all about the credits, so you are buying credits here and not really a license. The lowest price is a 40 credit for $5, then as you pay more, the credit price gets cheaper, up to the lowest 2.3 cents per credit when you buy 25,000 credits. Take note that these are monthly credits. In the pay-as-you-go package, you also have an option to buy credits that does not expire, but it will cost more of course. But we are focusing on the free account, as usual. By registering to Cutout Pro, you will automatically have 5 credits, and you can earn 5 more credits when you successfully refer a friend. To start using the tools, you will need to register and log in. I will just use my Google account to log in, which is the simplest way to register. OK. As you can see in the top right corner, I am now logged in. I have 5 credits for image-related tools, and 0 credit for video-related tools. Now it's time to put these tools into test. I will be doing a demo on 3 of them. By the way, up here in the top bar menu, under the product, you can also view all the tools that Cutout Pro offers. We will first try the AI Video Enhancer. Let's click the upload video. I have already prepared an old Chiquito movie clip here, which is what I'm going to choose. That's weird. I think I discovered a bug here. They have an MKV option here on the file types, but the video is not appearing in the list. Anyway, let's force it to select the video file by constructing the path and file name. There we go. It's loading now. Now you can see how bad and old the video is. Let's see how much enhancement the Cutout Pro can do on this video. Let's wait for the thing to finish processing. OK, after about a minute it's done. As shown earlier, we have zero credit for the video tools, so when we try to download HD, it will not allow us. But we can download a clip of a preview of the enhanced video. Let's try that. OK. It did not download an actual video, but only a WebM file, basically just a link to the preview clip. Let's open it in Chrome to view. Here we go. Let's play. I honestly don't see much difference from the original video. It still looks bad. But let's compare it side by side with the original, so we can compare closely. OK. The original actually looks brighter than the enhanced one. But if we look closely, the enhanced video is a lot smoother. The original video looks a lot grainier. And the enhanced video looks darker, but that is actually because it has a better contrast than the original. I guess because of the original video's quality, there's only so much enhancement that Cutout Pro can do. Still great, I guess. Now let's try the image colorizer. Let's upload the picture that we'll recolor. Let me show you what the picture looks like first. Here it is. An old black and white basketball team picture. Let's load it. That was fast. And wow. That color is great. The AI was able to identify the objects in the picture and color it perfectly. Below here are some other enhancement options that Cutout Pro can apply to the picture, like background remover or photo enhancer. Let's download the colored picture to look at it more closely. Cutout Pro will allow us to download this time, since we have credits for pictures. Let's open the recolored picture. As you can see here, the AI recognized the trees and grass in the background and colored it green. Let's also open the original black and white picture. Here we go. The AI also colored the cemented court floor, along with the painted parts perfectly. And see the colors of the shirts, which the AI assumes that should be at least in the same shades of color since they are in one team. Really intelligent. I actually have the real original picture here before I turn it into a black and white picture. And comparing this real original picture with the recolored one, I would definitely choose the recolored. It looks way more recent, clear, bright, and overall a better picture. 
Okay, let's move on to the third and final demo, the cartoon selfie tool. Let's upload the picture. Here we go. We'll have a big watermark here, which is unfortunate. And the picture does not look like a cartoon really. It just made the picture soft and flat. We have the usual other enhancement options here below. Above, we have more cartoon styles that we can apply to the picture. Let's check the K-pop avatar. Okay. Since this feature is called Selfie Cartoon, I think it is meant to apply the cartoon filter to only one face in some of these cartoon styles. And I really like it. These are really good. This pixel cartoon looks nice as well and applies it to the whole picture. And there's a lot of other options here. What a really great way to make a fun and unique selfie picture. Alright. So what do I think of the Cutout Pro? Well, all the tools here are not really new. You can definitely find a tool that recolors a picture, enhance the quality, erase objects, animates a picture, removes background, applies bokeh effects, and more. And the good thing about Cutout Pro is, it has all of these tools within one place. You don't need to go to different sites, or install different apps, just to perform one of these tools on each app. You have everything in this one site, in one place. Cutout Pro is a one-stop shop for almost all your picture and video AI tool needs. And the quality of the tools are mostly great as well. I'm not sure if they are reusing the AI engines of the different apps, but they are definitely doing a great job on all the tools they offer. The only downside here is that Cutout Pro is not free. You only get 5 credits for pictures, which will not take you too far. But also consider that the pricing is really low and very flexible. You can buy credits based on your needs. All in all, I think the Cutout Pro offers a very good deal here. If you are in need for AI image and video enhancements, I highly recommend it. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nova Air.